Before you start the long, complicated process of buying or selling a home, you want to get advice from our real estate expert, Monty Moore. He's joining us again today with more of the questions you've written in and sent in, and Monty's going to answer them. Monty, welcome back Great to the to show. Be here. Great to be here, Casey. Thanks for always giving us your advice. Oh, it's, it's very my helpful. pleasure. I really enjoy it. Yeah, so the first one we have today is from uh, Ben and Beth from Nashville. Right. They write in and say, we are first-time buyers, and we've been watching your segments on Channel 4, and we want to use you to help us buy our home. What can we do to get ready to purchase to ensure that when we find the right home, there won't be any problems? What could they do? Well, yeah, that's a great question because so many times someone will approach the idea of buying a home unprepared. What you want to do first of all, guys, is talk to a, your best favorite mortgage company or bank. And if you don't have one, contact me. They're, they're not all equal. There's a big difference, a big, big, big difference when it comes to service in a mortgage uh, part of the transaction. Because, get yourself pre-approved, pre not just pre-qualified, but pre-approved. When you're First of all, you want to know what the costs are and, and what, that, what you can afford, but you also want to show the, the seller that you're an absolute, you're like a cash buyer. Mm -hmm. The next thing you want to do is contact us with your, your, your fantasy list or your, your dream list of what you're looking for in a home that you know you can afford. We'll input that information in our automatic uh, update system of search for you, and, and every day you'll be notified of anything that hits the market with your criteria. Mm -hmm. It's a great service, free of charge, no obligations, and it takes a lot of the hassle out of finding that right home. Okay, good tips there. Mm -hmm. Now this next one is something I'm sure a lot of people can relate to. This comes from Susie P. from Murfreesboro. She says, our home is not sold after several months of trying. We're expecting our third child and desperately need more space. Someone suggested finishing off the garage. Is that a good idea? You know, I've, I've, I've I had that third child. I understand what, what difference it makes in your household. So my, my suggestion is, you know, if you do, if you do decide to, to finish off a garage, uh, do it with selling in mind. The problem with, with no longer having a garage, if you do finish it off, is that now when you do decide to sell it, now your home will be invisible for anyone looking for a house with a garage. So what I recommend is, first of all, when you finish that exterior wall where the garage door is, leave the garage door up, move it, the wall in about four to six feet, so you have storage right there. And then when you do decide to sell it, you'll put in the, put in the uh, uh, comments that the seller is willing to put the garage back. That way you can advertise it with a garage or without a garage. Mm -hmm. But when you get rid of the garage, you'll, you'll lose your potential buyers when you decide to sell. Right, a lot of people want that garage. That's right. All right, so the next one is from John P. from Franklin. Uh -huh. He says, we're going to be leaving the country for mission work and we owe more on our home than it's currently worth. Can we do a short sell under these circumstances? What would you tell John? Uh, John, I'd say yes, you can. Uh, really, banks don't, do not want to own real estate. They really, truly don't. And in most, any, I'd say 97% of the times where somebody can show legitimately they cannot afford to keep the home any longer, the bank will work with them on a short sale. Mm -hmm. Remember, banks do not want to own real estate. Right. So yes, I, I'd say 97% sure of that. We'll be glad to work with you on that, on that situation. Okay. Absolutely. Good advice for John and best of mm -hmm. luck to him on his mission yes, work. Yes, absolutely. All right, so happy customers. We've got three of them today. We do. We just had several closings last week. This is BJ and Kara. They, uh, we sold, sold their home uh, off of Nolensville Road. And, and they were able to buy their dream home, an absolutely gorgeous home. They were patient. Uh, we looked at a lot of homes, but boy, they are happy, happy customers now, and it's a gorgeous home. Oh, they look happy. Now, the next one is Denise. Yeah, Denise moved here from Memphis. She didn't know the area real well, and, and uh, I was able to help her. Uh, we, we ended up helping her buy a home that was $50,000 less than what the people had in the property, so she's really happy a camper. All right, and really. Alan and Bridget. Tell us about Alan, this couple, they're pretty Alan, happy. <laughs> Alan and Bridget, Alan's an, an engineer, so he's a tough cookie, you know, very objective. We looked at a lot of homes. I don't know how many homes before we found this home, but we got him a deal that, again, was 40,000 less than what the people had paid for the home just a few years ago. So they are happy campers they as well. They are, he even got a hug out of it. He did. <laughs> <laughs> happy guy. I did uh, too. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much, Monty. Well, thank you. Always I good having it. you. Now, if you need help buying or selling your home, call the Moore Group at 615-376-4500. Or to reach Monty directly, you can call 615-383-93. We also have a link to the website, WeSellHomesForFree.com. It's on the More at Midday section of our website, WSMV.com.